message this uh, series marriage matics is because mathematics requires that you understand formulas abi if you don't know formula you cannot know maths that's why once you understand formula forget it once you understand formula we have one mathematician in my house we have one mathematician in our church i always say everywhere apple is a mathematician i don't know why you are not using your talent i've encouraged him before that see why not upgrade and become not a full-time teacher now a part-time teacher offer mathematics the way they offer phonics in, in schools you taught my daughter math she sat beside i took her to see a big lawyer the lawyer said that they are trying to introduce lomatics now that's how to solve legal cases using maths that lawyer too has three masters he has one masters in mathematics And when I saw that you are the one that taught my daughter maths, and she, I took her to him. I don't know why I'm talking to you. It's not part of my message. It's all those jobs you are doing. You are just wasting your time. And God is saying something. I've told you before. Go and upgrade yourself. Attach a degree, a degree to it. Get a degree. And begin to offer it. You will see that you will sit in the office. They will be looking for you. What you have is something... They are looking for in schools. We brought him to our school to solve mathematics problem at the level school. You know, we have this book, they call it Mental Maths. I don't know, do I even know that textbook? Ah, ah, Omar Ruli. <laughs> so, you know, they are simple mathematics, but the way they we ask the question. So, we are having problem with it at the level school. So, I told him, I said, ah, please come and help us. So, let's. You know why? Maths has formulas. Once you understand formula, the same thing, marriage has formula. That's why you see that some men of God, servant of God, anointed, are divorcing their wives. And you see some church members celebrating 50 years in marriage. Anointing is not part of the formula that makes marriage work. I'm saying this because I know I have a large audience outside. Anointing, I say again, is not part of the formula. Can I tell you this truth? Speaking in tongues is not part of the formula. If you like it, speak in tongues on Monday to night. If care is not taking your marriage, you can still break. So let's learn formula this season. Let's can, can we have the scripture now? Are we are we said Matt, uh, Hebrews 13, verse 4? Hebrews 13, 4. Hebrews 13 and verse 4. Are we ready? Thank you. Can we be on our feet? Thank you, everybody. Let's read the word of God boldly. After the count of three. One, two, and let's go. Marriage is honorable in all. And the bed undefiled. But homongers and adulterers, God will judge. Can we take it one more time for the last time? For we said, one, two, three, and let's go. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But homongers and adulterers, God will judge. Father, we ask for revelation today in Jesus' name. Now be seated. Now look at the first statement. The Bible says, marriage is what in is honorable in all some versions will say marriage is a honorable thing now i follow the if, you, if i don't look at dictionary very well to understand honorable anytime i go out with him because he campaigned uh, for federal rep people no longer know his real name everywhere he's going now they say honorable honorable sir Honorable, honorable, honorable. So, and he will now say, Meet my pastor. 
So he's honorable. We can learn understanding from it. A amen. Now, which means that honor being honorable is something that is to be of high esteem. Stop thinking that because of your experience or the experience of your parents or some of your friends that marriage is a bad thing. Because some people are thinking, ah, marriage is a curse. Some say marriage is a bad thing. But that's your word. God's word says that marriage is a honorable thing. And the Bible says, you know now, it is impossible for God to what? To lie. A honorable thing is, is something of to be of high esteem. A honorable thing is something that is precious. Marriage is not a trouble. So if the word of God says marriage is a honorable thing and people are saying no, I regret. Some might say, in fact, I don't think I will ever get married. Some are saying, ah, in fact, if God bring me out of this one, why several homes break? Number one, who are those that came together to form a couple? Now, don't forget, marriage, Bible marriage is between one man and one wife. One man and what? One woman. That guy was telling me yesterday, eh, eh, after all, the Bible says, if I'm going to be, be a bishop, I must have one wife. He said, I don't want to be, be a bishop. I said, Matthew 19 says that Jesus himself said, he that created them, created them male and male. Therefore, a man will leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. I said, they now ask Pharisee, now, why then did Moses say we should divorce our wife? I answer him, Jesus said, because your heart was hard, but it was not so from the beginning. But look at where the errors started from. It started with who are those that came together to form a couple? Listen, I wrote here, if you miss it at the point of choosing a partner, you will not get it right in marriage. Understand that. Now, a lot of you that say, hey, marriage, 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 a lot of them missed it at the junction of choosing who to marry. You know, that's the point a lot of you get to and you allow so many things to blind you. Point, point, can I tell you the truth? That's one of the most important decisions of your life. Who you are going to marry. It will determine how long you live. Who you are going to marry. It will determine how long you will have joy. Who you are going to marry. Listen, it will determine if you will be able to fulfill purpose again. That's why when it gets to that point, you must not be too hasty in making a decision of who to marry. I wrote this scripture and I want us to look at it. Hallelujah. I didn't hear you. Amos chapter 3 verse 3. While they are bringing it up, I wrote it this way. Can two walk the journey of destiny together except they align? You know, I told you this is my own quote. But that's the same meaning. Can two walk together except they agree? Can two walk the journey of destiny together except they align? You will see uh, bricklayers we use what we call plum. I mean, is it not plum? Yeah, to, to see. Check in here. Show a line. They could use rope. They could use the other one, the machine. But most times, do you know that a lot of you, you don't check well. You will see a young man that wants to get married. You will see him concentrate on the outward appearance of the person he wants to marry. It's just like you are going to buy food. You are, you are saying you are concentrating on the container. Ah, mu like in content package you It's the same thing. Like you are, you know, when you are going for a lady and you are saying, ah, this lady, I love, I love her body fixture, fixture you know, and the girls will say, in fact, how many packs? Not your man, you know? Six packs. Shall come on? And the next thing after six packs, it must be what? That they 
they are always looking at the physical. But can I tell you this truth? There is nothing in the physical that keeps a home. Please come down a bit with your keyboard. Thank you. There is nothing in the physical that keeps the marriage. Because everything you see in the physical is subject to change. Can I tell you again? Everything in the physical is subject to change. Which means it can be there today and may not be there again tomorrow. Now that's why I'm not saying don't look at the physical. It should not be the main thing. I'll be very practical today. So, can two work together the journey of destiny if they don't align? Have you taken time to sit down? Have you taken your time to sit down? Do we... I and this guy, I and this lady, do we even align? Align us in how? Let's go deeper. People spend time, I wrote here, to prepare for wedding, but never do anything to prepare for marriage. Do you know that there are two different things? Somebody will organize uh uh, sorry, we, we employ the help of uh, what do you call them? Uh, these people that help prepare wedding planner, and they may start planning one year before. Choose the fabrics, let's get the cake design, look for the best um, caterers. Now, let's go and book for the event, uh, event hall, you know. Okay, let's go and book the artist that will be singing. Adi Emi will be singing. Let's make little adjustment, balance. But do you know that they only plan for, they are planning for how many days now? One day. That's just the wedding ceremony. Marriage does not begin at the wedding ceremony. It begins after everybody must have left. Did they tell you, I don't know whether they told you, young brother, that after everybody must have left and you get home, you start providing. Young lady, I don't know whether they told you that after everybody must have gone, there will be nobody to wake you up in the morning as your parents used to do. You'll be the one to wake up because the wife should wake up ahead of others. No. Nobody told you. You never read any book. I asked that young man yesterday. I said, how many books about marriage did you read ever before you got into marriage? Which means you do not have any knowledge about what you went into. If I don't know why they give marriage certificates at the beginning, where did we even get that tradition from? To me, I feel we should be giving marriage receipts. Received to pay at some will pay at joint Abbey. Marriage certificate should be after 10 years. Padawagba certificate school level war after 10 years. She graduate graduation at Coco. No graduation at Coco. I water the less experience. I'm okay. Marriage, man, me the first three years because the first year. You are still in your honeymoon. The man can still decide to sacrifice to do some things that are your duty for you. The ladies too will decide to say, uh, uh, honey, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Don't worry, I can fix that. But by the second year of marriage, please check my sound. The sound is, is, is dropping. Can I preach on? So I wrote here again. People spend time to prepare for wedding but never do anything to prepare for marriage. Have you taken time to ask that person, can I walk or ask yourself, can I walk with this person? Have you ever asked yourself this sincere question or 
you just want to be glued to the physical appearance just like I said earlier on even in the Bible look at Deuteronomy chapter 7 1 to 4 God himself had to tell his children the Israelites there are certain people you cannot marry you look at Deuteronomy chapter 7 1 to 4 when the Lord your God brings you into the land which you go to possess and he has cast out many nations many nations before you the Hittites the Gagash Gagash Geshashite or whatever and the Amorite and what tongue speaking nations near and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites seven nations greater and mightier than you look at what God classified how he classified them and when the Lord your God that delivers them out to you you shall conquer them and utterly destroy them follow this you shall make no covenant with them or show mercy to them verse 3 nor shall you make what I didn't hear you marriages with them you shall not give your daughters to their sons nor take their daughters for your no matter how pretty they are God is saying these people are corrupt yeah, I am I know them more than more than you know them you can't marry them. So, every child of God, I'm still talking to the youths here now. You can't marry just anybody. Or else you will get to the way. Fuel will finish. What's happening to Ajendi? There's heat here. Please just endure them. They'll fix it in a few seconds or minutes. I now brought a question again. What are the things to look out for as a young person intending to get married? First thing, what kind of contribution is this person coming with to my life? What's the first question you must ask? What kind of contribution is this person coming with to my own life? Now, don't you must be kill any effect be was only table a yeet me now. You know, it was like a comedy. Somebody sent uh, uh, a white, a young white lady. They were asking her, young lady, oh, you're looking so good. If you're going to get married, what are you hoping? How, how, what, what will you add to your husband's life? He said, by the grace of God, I'm a graduate. And one of the things I know he will get from me is that he will get good counsel from me and I also work I, I I have a good profession I will contribute to his life financially because life is give and take the white woman was speaking and was saying about five things then the comedian brought a Nigerian lady and say, said to her yes what are you bringing to the table in this marriage he said can you not see my back I'm so sexy now, can you imagine? Every young person, that you don't just conclude. You ask this person, you find out. If you have not seen what this person is coming with, please, sir, please, ma. Marriage is a honorable thing. It's not a decision you just make overnight. What is this person bringing to the table of my life? Am I to add? You want a wife? You want a husband? Does that person have anything to add to you? Can she or, 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 or can he or she add anything valuable to your life? I wrote my own experience. Me, I discovered this about my own wife before I got married to her. The first thing I saw was her spirituality. Everybody in our church knew Sister Yemisi ever before I got married to her. She, my, she was not my pastor's uh, wife. Oh. My pastor was a young man. But do you know that by 
left, level of influence ladies in church were running around her. I was a brother in the church. She was a sister in church. Ladies in church will go to their house to assist her in washing. Assist. Why? She was adding value to them spiritually. That was my own first thing. This woman coming into my life will not drain me spiritually. I've not told her all these things. She's hearing me for the first time. She's the one that told me I will. I will also tell you when we get to that point. <laughs> if you are clapping, clap. If you are jealous, put your hand in your pocket. I will tell you the second thing I discovered. By the time her parents left Ibadan, they relocated to Ijebu. She was the last born. They had money before she grew. But by the time she, was, she, she got to that age of 14, 15, Governor Oresonya had already died because he said he took a bullet uh, in one of those uh, wars. And they went for operation. They said they couldn't remove it. If they remove it, he will die. That he should live with it. And they told him the year he will die. Touch Christiana. She did this to last week's Sunday. So they told him that they told him when to die. And he tried. He called every one of them. He said to, but her own dad asked for, I've told you before. The, the grinder that grinds cassava and that, that grinds maize. And the Egmont said, Abru, his junior brother said, That's the governor. But that she can't tell she can't tell me. Because her father's junior brother was the governor of Oyo State. Can't tell people go in or sell it. Say, Ro Lotta, Ero Logi. I think it's something low again. You go and walk, go to Loban Pari, lay me in a jabu. He lets you send to me. And the Egmont did it. They said the man has respect for his brother to the point that if he goes to state house, the governor will stand up and prostrate. Maybe next uh, during uh, the children's day, I should teach on how parents should uh, establish hierarchy system in their family. Now listen, by the time governor left, he had died, things had changed, they left Ibadan. They left her at home with her elder brother working in the government service and they left her with Erolota. I met my wife as a virgin. Nobody was sponsoring her. That error lotter was what I saw and heard about her. She managed her life with it. And I said to myself, if I commit my destiny to this one, she will not waste it. Some of you didn't consider. You don't, the sister that has not amounted to anything with her life. The brother that is not doing anything, he's always pocketing. Telling you I'll be in Toronto very soon. Knows every street in Canada. That's the brother you want to marry? You will suffer. I'm still talking to the youth, so, and the only reason why you are there is because the, the lazy brother has six packs. Hard working, hard working brothers don't have six packs because they won't have time to go to gym. I'll be an engineer has six packs. It's time you met him. <laughs> He said he had temper. <laughs> but these are things that people are not talking about. But I saw it in her. That with this woman, this lady, I will have a future. Don't forget, I saw her spirituality. Number two, I saw her hard working nature. Her mother and her father had relocated back to Ijebu, but they left her with her elder brother here. 
There are times there's no food at home, nobody to grind pepper. It's a van that used to go at times to the house. You say, Siam Simon, notice where I teach you. If I see it, it's a living witness. Start here. Shall I go on? Then I said, This is the woman out of so many in our church. Then in our dating, you know, we were talking and I was asking her questions. What did you say about me? I wrote down these things she said many years ago. She said, I discovered, sir. I want to look for it where I wrote it. That she loved my commitment to God. She said, my, our marriage is 22 years now. This is what she told me about 24 years ago. And sincerely speaking, there is nobody that didn't know Brother Prince Will. I was not even a pastor. From street to street, talking about Jesus. Then she said one day, we were talking, he said, that when I came closer to you, I also discovered that you have a work habit. When I now discovered that God called me, I was going to ministry, 7 a.m. This man has woken up, has dressed up, and is in church office. Because I was working in church. I was my own boss. And I told myself I needed a secretary that we need to pay salary to. My first secretary was collecting 600 naira. You don't marry a guy that is not going anywhere. If you hear that, say I had. He's been handsome, we not bring anything except he's a model. Or an artist. Even if he's an artist, he must know how to speak well. Or sing well. So those of you that are young, I know some of these elderly people here are saying, ah, Mrs. Christopher ni Ben Ben sorry. Ebani sorry, sorry. So there must be a going to. Quickly, let's rush, let's rush so that we can go to the adult. Second thing you must look at. Does this person has a mentor? Please, don't marry a person that has no body he or she fear or that can talk to him or that you can report that person to. It's a disaster. Ask my wife. I wrote it here. The moment I proposed to her and she agreed, my mentor at that time was Rev Reverend Niboru. Reverend Niboru is now Bishop Niboru now. He lives in America. Reverend, I took her to Reverend Neboro. And I said, sir, I came to see you. The woman I intend to marry, I'm, I brought her to you. And I told her, this man can call me at any time. Now, as at that time, me, I was her own mentor. Because I was a pastor. She had been in the choir before that they came late. I used cane. Ask her now. I didn't even know that she was a sister I was going to get married to. I used cane. I told her to give me your hand. What kind of rubbish are you doing? You are, you are sinking for God. You are coming by this. Muti roll. Choir, muti roll. Mommy, I want to give you But I feel like I'm going I took cane. I flogged all of them. I flogged her. They were kneeling down to beg me. Who is your mentor? Who can flog you? Don't marry a sister that does not have a mentor. Don't marry a brother that does not have a mentor. Because what? Well, do you know why? They are a disaster waiting to happen. I 
think I need to change Mr. Spice's seat. Help me bring him. Mr. Bring him here. And bring more machine up for me. Bring more machine up. Please come. Come here. Okay, are they in trouble here? Ah, they say they are in trouble. Oh, yeah, come, more machine up. Come, come, come. Come. I will give you where there is fan. She says she needs fan. Don't worry. I will give her. Come, come, come fast. There is no time. It's fun you need. Bring her. Please come like this. Take her beside Mama. Give her my seat. <laughs> if it's fun you need, no problem. Sit on my own seat. This is fun. No, my seat. There's good fun there. Where's Mr. Spice? Bring Mr. Spice here. No, don't worry. It's a honorable seat. Clap, clap. He's very with his bishop gown. Yeah. So, young people, anybody that does not have anybody he respects to the point that the person can say, Come down now. When we got married, I could no longer mentor my wife because it would be wrong for me to be a mentor. I introduced her to mommy at Dilakun. Yesterday was her birthday. She still received mommy's message. Mommy cannot say, Yeah, Missy, come now. She must leave everything. She must leave everything. That's why some of you young men, brothers here, that are getting married, some of you are looking at me, my gentility on pulpit. I'm not gent- Ask how. I told one of her daughters, I was trying to correct she and her husband. I said, see, if I'm your husband, I will beat you. She looked at me and said, if I'm your husband, you are talking to me, I will beat you. And she was shocked. I said, so come. after the meeting, I now call her Saturday. I said, you don't talk to a man as if you are the one that gave back to him. Men cannot stand it in a place where they are not honored. If you dishonor a man, you'll be, you'll be telling the beast in him to wake up. I now cancel. I said, I won't beat you, but I just had to threaten you. So that's number two thing you must look out for. Number three, the third thing you must look. I'm still talking to the youth. What have they been able to do with their own life? Whoever cannot amount to anything without you will not amount to anything with you. You look at this person I want to bring to my life. What has he or she been able to do with his own life? Is she a school dropout? Is she learning trade and she did not agree to finish? Is she a Kilo she pariri, kilo 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 unganti fi besi aye ti e sheri. I greeted grandma. Was it three days ago? What did I call? I said career woman. Even at sixty one, sixty two, my dickness over there is an engineer. If I keep mentioning my wife, you say oh, it's because it's his wife. These are women. My dickness over here. Before she got married to her husband, she was a graduate. It's not an engineer that say go to school. Now imagine they wanted to start a school. An engineer is saying, "You know what? She anywhere, she anywhere lost school, can't even school." In our time, we will tell you what more. So you observe these are things you look at. What is it? what has this person been able to do? Beauty is she much. What is she in Kokopelu life? Don't bring a non-entity into your life. 
that part of what you are now discussing in your courtship is a kilomashi timba fence. Kilomashi. Hey, madame, look who knew. Hey, madame, look who knew. Ah. You won't need to go to the five years. You go to mommy. Oh, you are now telling your husband to be eh eh jide kilo kini wa wa se pela ye bai eh ko no ama so make so fun family e kon assist me kon te try kon assist me kon establish me ya o ni je o ya ma je now these are the things that people didn't check they went into marriage there is no how divorce will not happen now because one of our fathers said Love is blind, but marriage is the eye opener. And the last one under this segment. Pay attention to his or her spiritual life. That's commitment to God. That's in bracket. Now, I wrote here again, I don't mean his or her hyperactivity in church. You know, some people are hyperactive. They are always everywhere in church, but they are not in Christ too. I don't know if she usher, I don't know if she, I don't know if she choir, I don't know if she drama, I don't know if she kakiri. But once you know Christio, the word is Joshua. She has mobile data. Ah, who sent you mobile data? He, then you show you what? Your department will know. Ah, ah, Tielly. So people department buy you know what? But department mobile data you what? A person can be in church and not be in Christ. Do you know why it is important to be in Christ? Because the Holy Spirit will be in that person. I am more misunderstanding that Johnny to Yaki and Mimi Molo Parier. Tell me, my yari town or my yari car. I'm telling you practical experience. But then, my machine be me sorrow, Nicoro, and Mamma Bow no sorrow, Nicoro. So, Tabati was said to a million man fake boy, she did me, and sorry, sort of me. Why did you not come to me? Yeah, the Holy Spirit told me, hey, the Holy Spirit knows that I'm right. Holy Spirit told me too, I won't tell her. So, youth, be eating that one first. Let's go to the, those of you that are married. Why several homes break? Number two, when those in marriage do not, do not know their individual responsibility or go ahead to carry it out let me come again when those in marriage do not know their individual responsibility or go ahead to carry it out have you written that it's long so i want you to finish writing I now put full stop. If you consistently neglect your responsibility in marriage, your partner may be frustrated to quit. Do you know what I'm reading for you to write? All our people that have traveled abroad, most of them are calling me to say, if I was with Nikneso three days ago, he said, Papa, everything here is online. If I wash it online, if I share anything online, he said, Papa, thank you that you made God's power a school. A koti mo ko. A chair mo kimi u law school. A koti mo ko. Ni God's power. Oni mo lo Canada. Another one called, we have been having things. So, I now said to myself, and this thing is true. Let me continue to encourage you. Do you know that you can frustrate a faithful person? You didn't say anything. Please bring those. They've brought our food. You know, we are going to give you something to eat and drink today. Clap for us now. And it will be happening like that every last Sundays of the month. And I will add something to it. I will talk to some of our partners. Out the, all these widows every last Sundays you'll be getting gifts 
every last Sunday of the month. I have something for you. I won't tell you now. One will finish. I'll tell you in camera because some people are watching me now. So most of our members say, ah, thank you. That's why I'm teaching. You know why I'm teaching you this? If one part is faithful and the other part is not faithful to their responsibility, the one that is faithful will get frustrated one day. I'm telling you the truth. Because, see, I discovered that in Christian marriage, we hide under, my husband is born again. Because my wife is born again, he cannot be angry. Grace can be frustrated. You are not married, what do you know? I should write down. You are sitting down with somebody's wife. Oh, yeah, change your seat now. These are the brothers I'm chasing to go and get married. So, back to what we are saying. Grace can be frustrated. That's why, hear me. Before you go into marriage, make time to find out what will be my responsibility as a wife. What will be my responsibility as a husband. I'll try to finish this one. If you don't know it, ignorance is not an excuse. I've told you in one of my quotes, the devil does not sympathize with the devil does not sympathize with ignorance. He capitalizes on it. I'll try to finish this one. Ah, oh gosh, I'll try to finish. Let me just finish this number two. Next month we continue. Oh, next month I'll be speaking about the children. Upper month we continue. I wrote here. Let's look at some important roles that makes marriage work. So in your notes, you know what you do? You draw a T like this. The husband one side, the wife at the other side. Do you understand what I mean? Now, the right side, let's look at the husband. His main drive in marriage is love for his wife. That is the main instruction that God gave him. Love for wife. Kini eternity alone for Kuri, Nikbe, he walk up, fell on your ayare, he fell, Niko Nife. Look at how she's sitting there with you. Messy game waiting for the first time. Husband, love your wife. That's the instruction. Now, the other side of the tea. The main drive for the wife in marriage is, is submission to her husband. Wife, submit to your husband. That's the main drive. Now, we now have under it, underline that love, underline that uh, submission. We now begin to have one, two, three, four, under love, one, two, three, four, under submission. Now, once everybody understands their drive, my duty is to, to love my wife. Her duty is to honor me, to, to submit to me. Now, under my duty, one, as a man, hear me, as a husband, is that I must offer good leadership. It is my responsibility to think and bring and make decisions that will make things well for my, mar for my home. So, what's your responsibility as a husband? Number one is... You know, don't forget your drive, love. Um, love. Now, under love, one is that you must offer good leadership. And you cannot get good leadership as a husband if you are not a thinker. So, when everybody is asleep, when everybody is busy, the man should be thinking. When I say thinking, I'm not saying thinking to depress him. That you see that you are crying. Was, no, Lord, what is the next thing for my family? What do we do next? What is the next plan? These children are growing up. What is the next thing? I've told you some of our experiences before. How my elder sister called and said, Pastor, your children, send your children to us. Let them school abroad. I love the idea. She said it because she loved my children. But I was not yet true with what I was planting in them. 
So I told Auntie, Emma Wari, Kutia, because it was a planting season for me. I also went to my mentor and told my mentor, my mentor said, hold on for now. I remember when my wife was pregnant of Oriola and it was elective. My mom called, Pastor, let your wife come over abroad. Let her deliver here. So I went to mommy Adilakum. Mommy said, no, don't let her go. Let her deliver under your nose. And you know he's the only boy. Imagine an only boy growing where his father is not. There are some things I will not be able to plant. Am I communicating? So every man, you must understand that you are a leader. Don't act like a fool. Stop behaving like you don't have a direction where you are taking your family to. I remember when my children got to SS1. The school where they attend. In SS3, they will say, you pay all the money. First, second, third time. When they gather the calculation, I think NLA was in SS2 then. They gather the calculation to be going to almost above half a million to prepare them for university. I didn't have the capacity for it. So I told my daughter, you will try to write NECO SS1. You will write your jam. I mean, your neck in SS2. Your jam in SS2. I don't have capacity for it. And I cannot put you at home. You know what? I will register you in a lesson. She agreed. And I told her, my, my wife now added eyes to it. If you pass your neck and you pass jam, we'll do your 16 years birthday for you. Offer leadership. And you see her, and that was in the night. She'll be reading, she'll be praying. I, I wish her spiritual life can come back to those days. I, I never saw my daughter pray like that before. Ah, you will see her, she'll be praying in the night. She'll stand up, she'll go and read, she'll go back, she'll pray. When her jump result came out, she came out with 250, no, 232, cut off for 200, mass communication. She jumped, she screamed, she ran into the church. Daddy, I made it. Daddy, I made it. Daddy, I made it. I said, Yes. That was the leadership we had in mind, the plan. It is not when all of them wake up in the morning, they're not asking you, Daddy, kill a majelare. You're in our mind, and you're kill a majelare. Daddy, what is next? In fact, I don't even know. Do you understand men? I'm talking to the men. Now, because my wife respects my leadership instincts, hear me, when she, she was saying she wanted to go into business, I kept telling her, hold on. Let me get a direction. Once I'm clear, I will tell you what to do. But do you know that if you cannot offer leadership as a husband, even your wife will not follow you. Did you hear me? So that's your own. The women. Ah, you are time, man. Sarelo. Under your own one. Give him good support. Every wife should be the number one supporter of their husband. Tobani fans here that the first person you should see behind you as a husband is who? Your wife. It is an error for the wife to be the number one attacker. Of the man she got married to. It should be your wife. That's why you to the wife, you should be you should be his number one fan. You should not be the one opposing him. You should not be the one giving him trouble because he can he will not be able to think straight. If you are always fighting him, then you'll be here, Matu. Now, ah, I didn't want to this soon. Hey, you're a bit of Happy Sunday. Uh huh. It's your first lady. Praise God. So under that, the men, 
your own too. Now, under your love, what is number two? Create time for her. Because the number one need of a woman is attention. Create time for her. How can you say you love and you won't be able to sacrifice time? You're always more busy. More busy. I want more busy. The proof of love is sacrifice. Create time. You must be available. When she needs your attention, you must be available. Don't even wait for her to need her attention. You must be available. That's why you see that a woman will finish looking at the mirror after dressing. She will finish looking at herself in the mirror and still be waiting for you to say something about what she, what she has seen. You know, at times, woman phone is in my hand. She says, she will I eat my sauce of candy. I said, I didn't finish it. She will I eat candy. When you get to my meal. I'm not a male person. I don't want to be a male person. Now, it's to show you that their greatest need is, at, is attention. Now, under that of the woman, create the environment of peace and joy. How can you say you submit? And you want to create war at every time. Because the man will say, I want to give her attention. But every time I spend with my wife, there is always trouble. So, so because of that, some men decide not to say, let me even go and look for joy outside. It shouldn't be like that. You know, we once had one of our brothers here. I met him. I met his new uh, boss. He was my PA. He's now the PA of a, the popular talk in Ibadan here. So I met him. With the thug walking, I said, I'm looking for your boss. So the man came. I said, You took my PA from church and he's now following you. What did you do for him? I said, I want my PA back. The man said, If you give me one million now, Pastor, I will chase him. If he if you follow him, that he will shoot his leg. Pastor, just give me one million, he will follow you. But me myself, I knew what chased him out. It's not that he wasn't going there secretly before. But the frustration of, if you marry a troublesome woman, ah, the day the thing burst out, I was trying to say to them, This guy slapped the woman for, for the first time. So the woman ran to me. I now said, He should come. I gathered that that will beat him for me. You beat your wife? He said, Sir, Sir, a command, Bamiwi, Nick Bobo, Balem, Bamiwi, eh, Botte me, eh, Sir, Boxer, Mitiara, Beniti, Fayan, Dimmy, Oti, Lenny, Andre, don't know Joko, ye. Come my team, you misunderstand it. A team, it took back his shoulder sure, 50 times. Only a come will pick moon, pent at him back while they were halan in Makua Jokosita, Tobati, so don't he read any moon, Wale. She be any much better, more better, more better, more better, more better. What if you were learning about Mudara for my inbi? And now face the lady. Egbo. That's why don't judge people if you are not in their condition. No. He now told me, says sir, multi bite here, lady, multi berenier, woe, oti jeton, oti jeton, and that was the beginning of the beating that led to their separation. Every wife, hear me. It is your responsibility to create an environment that will make your husband to stay at home. Say I hear. You know women, you know yourself. You can frustrate a man even without talking. <laughs> even without konisoro eni bonwe. But I come out of my mind, man. I kill off kilo she. That made an MD of a bank 
to go to Mav 21. Sat down there. Was drinking one bottle of malt. Till 12 midnight. One bottle of malt. When they now told him at Mav 21. Hey, loli ni Yela oma close. Oni ki njuka e jo. She mo le so. Eli ki moto mini. She mo le so. Se no moto. Oni ki lo di uni ya wo mini. Oni mo nshag. Mi ni girlfriend. Mi ni. Olo ori mi pe mi ni girlfriend. But. Timba loli. Mi monto le shele. A bank manager. Ku siga ti rule ye oni tu. Yo mani. Jesu. 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 Ishu ti ba o kanko mi talo le. Yi wolo le si ta. That's why the Bible says a wise woman does what? She builds her own home. What does it mean to build? Create an environment for the man to come home. Even ti o ba fi o nje to to le se nkan ti o wè ka. You know, of recent, uh, we stop cooking with uh, Maggie and all those things. I now see that there are things that make soup sweet without all these terrible ingredients. Rede 200 naira. Blender. You know I'm a good cook. A jack pad, I see. Jello fries, only concussion. And that queen tin tin tomato, queen she tomato. You know. It's starch and coloring. Go see tomato, you come by in there. We change, we change our eating habits since January. You see now that there's no more excess fat. Sir, cook the one that his money can, can pay. Anything that will make him happy, that he will come home, he will be happy. Create the environment. You are like, women are creators. Sir, here, I want him to be known. Let me greet her. <laughs> let's take number three and four quickly. Let's rush. Under it, under the men. Number three. If you love her, you should free her to fulfill purpose. Sir, caging a woman is not a sign that you love her, it's a sign that you are afraid. Some women cannot work, not because they are lazy, but because their husband loved them to the point of being afraid. And that's not love, that's bondage. If this woman should go out and work, one leg below me. Ah, she will break out one day. It will lead to divorce. Loving makes you confident enough to flee. So a lot of men, they are and the Bible says there's no, it's a perfect love. Does what? Cast out fear. Share my Bible. There's no fear in love. Now let's quickly for the women. There's no time. Under it, they are on number three. If you truly submit to him, you won't use your freedom against him. Do you know that if truly you submit to your husband, you won't use the freedom that you have. The freedom that he has given you. That freedom to come fulfill purpose. You won't use it against him. You won't dishonor him. Let's take one more under the men. One more under the women and we'll close this meeting. If you love, if you love her, you will not always hold on to her faults. Ah. If a man man for you, or you don't know, anything about Nife, Nife, in your making rash, she a more. Hey, Madame, you know, brother, any brother, Madame, brother, ah, oh, one mate, ha, brother, sir, to bandy, go big, listen, 
eh seri ma tun soro le lori na egbo mi sir egbo mi sir the bible says love covers multitude of sin mm, multitude in the bible pelo e se ma nbo opolopo e se ife ma nbo now e ja ma gbadura kali ni fe bi olorun bo se ni fe wa to to ran mo kan soso to bi koko fun wa to sha ti pe hello hear me you didn't hear me and he's still loving us now i'm not saying i'm coming to them too but i want you to understand that she the day you begin to see the fault every mistake of your wife go and find out love is injured mommy mess are you here love is injured all those faults were there before she never changed but you didn't see it because you were in love mommy I want for me inside daddy ever daddy ever long over there but listen that's how to check your love life if my if your love life is dying that's how to know you begin to see fault begin to see fault if anything could near in my 22 years marriage it happens too when i begin to discover hey i don't like the way she talk to me i don't like my magic hey balo shima gbonje fun mi sinu abotun ma fun mi lowo i don't like i will say to myself something is wrong something is wrong something is wrong i will begin to pray for myself lord please help me because some of these ladies you are looking at is because you are far from them that your eyes cannot see their fault so them are worse than your wife your wife is not asking for both straight you, you know ah some of them everything about them is both straight that if you marry them you will go back to village they will follow you and still sell you and collect money Let's take the out of the wife. Lastly, wife, under your own. If you truly submit, hear me, you will honor him with what you do. You will know when he shall say, "You be and I." And this is the man I honor. Koyeki wa matau ju emale. Koyeki ma she in kontiyo feron. Let me rush through these questions. Somebody said, "Is it good that when a man wants to correct his children for wrongdoing, refers to his wife as a source of their disobedience? Ah, uh, is bad. Is bad. Whoever is doing that is bad. If you want to correct your children, correct your children. If you want to, if your wife is contributing to it, let the children go." You now say, ah, honey or sweetie, do you know that this thing, if you continue to do like this, you are encouraging these children to be wrong. But it is wrong to be dealing with your children. And you, yani lo koi, yani ni, yani ah, you are dishonoring them, you are dishonoring their mom in the pre in their presence. I know women are molders. If you dishonor them in the presence of the children, they will not be able to help you mold the life of those children. Question number two: Is it good for a man? to disrespect his wife or compare her to other women he associates with i've answered this question when i was teaching now eh hey, there is no woman like your wife oh. she is custom made for you what do i say custom made see those women you are this you are comparing with your wife you are comparing them from out outlook from far if you go and ask their husband <laughs> do you understand because if you are if you are comparing them you are comparing your wife's weakness with that woman's strength her own weak area may be something you cannot bear 
You know, 22 years of being married and 26 years of being a pastor, I've handled cases. Ah, listen, they are, they are the most gentle in our church. I not very quiet. I very quiet. I say, I say, I I say, 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 I there's one popular man I would have won in about on those days. So the wife, the, the husband came to me. Eh, Papa, I ba me ba ya o me soro. Me fe kalo ma ye ra wo wo. Ati di born again. Church you are in. Eh, dem pray for one go go ba. Eh, dem as you ya wana ya want to gentle gun church. Most gentle ma. Mommy like baja. Ah ah, I would have won beti ba wo. O kon lo ki ma ye ni ke. Orota son uli ubi wa papa son bi. O de lucky, o de best ni fun ni orun. Mo wa wo ma yen ke a, emi o le gbaru e, mi te wa ke joba gan o le gbaru e. Ki ngo action ti ma yen ma display. Ma yen wa, iwo ni fe we, iwo ni fe okan mi. Ah, mo ni e wo didirin. Mo n so lokan mi ni o. Iwo ni ife okan mi. Olulu fe mi lo je. Ma binu, se nkan to fe ni. Inna la ma se. I was for me where I am. You know, Lama, she said, Kalo will aware be, who see poor Maori. Who bat is often make people yak in so from pastor. Which is Sonny Woman, which is some meeting, maybe lot to pass off. Oh, my fellow, who do a letter woman say, Woman, Moa, okay, I don't say you can't say, Lonnie. Do you know that this man pets this woman until she left the club? The man now said, Pastor. Kikiri Leri. To Babi no Timba Fejade. Asari Loka. Bubwa Shomi no Le. Ate to wa no box. Are so me. Eti mo wawo. Ado mi lo mi lara. Iba ta koko bere muti no. Uti su mi. Ele yo shetan ati ku. Ola wwe ni yolo so vim. Gwe Timba Feke mi mi gong. King James will be my share back. Ah, woman, you are bad. You are very gentle, very quiet man. Only be too shady, go sir. Who did come on me? Who did? What your man catch on me? Lord, that's so many. But if you see her in church, you will wish that she's your wife. Come below me, Jao Kwe, Nikolo Mba Jao. One day, she gossip in church, Kebambe. Esma, Esa, woman, you didn't give. Go sing, continue to follow. Lord, if you come from, from, come from church, you know, to my lucky man, you know. So I had to leave them with their truth. Marriage that they have, they have been, they have been inside, they have three good children. Graduate. The man cannot die like that again. <laughs> Please don't bring any more questions. So let's finish this one. Where look at time. Time, time. time has gone. Begin to prepare Mama to please come for our cake. Sir, why is it that most parents train their ladies to be good wives? Some even train as slaves, but neglect their sons and these men don't even have good attitude at all uh, I believe this must be a single a, a young person asking this question I will answer it in two ways number one every woman you saw I ran after my own as they finished beating Shekere because the instrumentalists we have they have a pattern once they finish beating they are going outside. My son followed them. I, I left the altar. I ran after him. You can learn every other thing from them, but don't learn this one. As I was running after him, I didn't know that Enola too have run after him. Enola said, Daddy, you know your son. I said, I know him. He said, That's why she caught him and was bringing him back. Do you understand? We are working on our own. I was telling my son, I said, You know, when I was small, 
my mom, I was the one that my mom used to beat most. He said, why? Daddy, why? I see me too, I didn't know. That my mom used to use that thing that they used to turn her back to beat me. So I went to show him. He said, this thing, your mom must be wicked. I think she was not wicked. I thought she was wicked too. But my mom would tell me, when I'm cooking in the kitchen, you must be beside me. When, I'm, when I finish cooking, you must go and wash plates. Am I a girl? I didn't know that she was training me. So all women, please train your sons, not only your daughters. Teach them the act of leading a woman and living a responsible life. Praise the Lord. What is the difference between a mentor and a role model? How do they affect one's life? Now, a mentor and a role model, maybe English language almost the same, but uh, in the real context of it, not the same. Do you know that somebody can be your role model and you don't have one-on-one -on -one contact? I just love the way he dresses. I love the way he talks because of the, your love for him is affecting your life but from a distance your mentor is somebody you go to to submit yourself to I always say if you choose a mentor go and tell that person sir ma I want you to mentor me now with that such people we know that they are responsible they have a responsibility a role to play in your life so they will be able to call you when it is needed. But a role model, you doesn't need to see them. There are certain areas of their life that you just like and you want to copy. Do you, do you understand it? That's the difference. And the last one I want to take here because of our time. This person wrote there since last week. They put it in the box here. He said, there are some bad patterns in some people's family. Why can people not ask God? instead of asking the devil I don't know why they are asking the devil but simple answer is if you notice any evil pattern in your family pray question 2 why do some parents always maltreat second born that person must be second born Abby. that listen Second bonds always feel like that. Oyin used to say it. <laughs> if it's an Ella. But, you know, second bonds are always very rude. Most times, they want to stand to face first bond. Then, mistakes that parents made with first bond, they don't want to repeat it. So, they want to make sure that this second one must not be like this. At times, if you see you want to stand up with Eniola, Eniola doesn't know how to fight, doesn't know how to beat, doesn't know how to abuse. If you frustrate her, she's like me. She'll just pack you. So, we will now beat the same Is something wrong with you? <laughs> She'll be saying, that we love her. We don't love her more than you. We love you people equally. But we are only training you so that we will not make the same mistake we made with her, with you. So please, if you are like that, feeling that way, no parent will eat any of his child. Because the process of having a child, you know, is ill. Are you blessed today? Have you learned something? So marriage matrix continue next, next month. One of the things I will say next month, Please, all grandmas, I will talk to you next month. There's a part for you too. As your children are growing up, begin to detach any year to just single parents. Begin to detach your love gradually. Because once those children find love, you will still want to maintain your place in their heart. It will cause problem. We'll talk better next month. And those of you that are coming to marriage with bags full of negative past experience it can affect your marriage we'll talk about that too hallelujah let's welcome the celebrant as she come forward can we keep clapping